Hey, Harris. Hang, hang on, Mandy. RMFM. You're unmuted and you should be able to talk. Check your settings. Uh, check your sound settings. Check your voice settings. You should be able to uh, hear me at least. What do you mean waiting? What? You're here. There you I hear you. A little bit. La Puente Times, uh, we heard you a little bit, but you came out like a robot. Try it again. RMFM. Come on now. So it don't look like they're gonna break me on. There we go, a little bit. I heard you right there. What's going on, man? I just heard you and now you're now you're gone again. RMFM. We were able to and you're gone. Fucking hell. Carl B. Thank you very much for the uh, $50 super chat. What the fuck? Let me to drop in case it's an issue. I don't think that I don't think you're 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 the issue, uh, Mandy. I don't think you are. Um, okay. RMFM, come on now. Discord is not that difficult. All right. I mean, for fuck's sake, if you really need me to, like, invite you to a goddamn Google Meets, then fine. Uh, but for God's sakes, dude. If that's what it takes, then that's what it takes. But in the meantime, I'm going to play uh, the rest of, uh, uh, the rest of, um, Popo Medic's video. All right, five, four, three, two, and uno. All right. I'll, I'll send him a Google uh, Meets invite. That that should be easier. People were still inside the store. What did you do? Inside. 
I shut the, you know, eight times, everybody moved. A merchant guarding his property. You got anybody out there or gives a shot? Rick Romero out here. All of the merchants here are not going to wait for the National Guard or police or anybody else. You talked about guerrilla warfare, and it's right here, right on the premises here. Just about every one of the individuals in this. Radio Korea quickly became dubbed Koreatown's makeshift command center, warning listeners of the whereabouts of incoming looters, and offered itself as a 911 system, allowing shop owners to call out for help over the air. After the realization sank in, there would be no response from police, fire, or EMS, already stretched too thin, responding to thousands of ongoing emergencies. We need a uh, national guard in here. We have no police support whatsoever. People are driving by shooting at us, and we have to do something about it. A local resident by the name of Ina Cho and president of the Korean Veterans Association in 1992 was listening to the broadcast and decided to call in a little broadcast of his own, requesting all Korean Marine Corps veterans to respond to the area. Soon after, a group of around 15 Korean Marine Corps veterans arrived, equipped with rifles and rendezvoused with Cho. The men responded to a large electronics warehouse. Is that Ricky? How you doing, Ricky? What's up, Artie? How, How you doing, doing man? Now? Oh, I'm doing fine. Okay. How are you doing? How are you doing, man? Oh, I'm doing fine. How are you doing? What's the story, Ricky? What's the story, Ricky? It's a lot of What's up, Artie? How are you? I'm doing fantastic, man. How are you? How you doing, Artie? How are you? I'm doing fantastic, man. How are you? What's going on, man? Hey, like I said, what's what's, what's going on? What's going on? Like I said, what's going on? I'm here. You have a set of words. Uh, I've been talking to you the whole time, dude. Also, uh, can you try and like mute um, YouTube or whatever you're listening to this? Because I'm getting feedback here. Uh, it's funny how you don't have audio on my end. I have a perfect system. Oh, that's different headphones. You have a perfect system. What do you want to ask me, Artie? Am I a sovereign mean? citizen? Uh, well, Am given I, the fact that you say and uh, assert all the things that coincide with a sovereign citizen, yes. But please try and cut down the echo, man. What's up, Artie? There we go. I think we I think we solved the problem here. Yeah. Hopefully. All right. Perfect. No more echo. Awesome. So yes, dude. I think you're a sovereign citizen because based upon the arguments that you present in chat and the arguments that you've already presented previously, um, so you espouse the hallmarks of what we would generally term to be sovereign citizen like arguments. Yes. Is a sovereign citizen something like somebody that has a different belief than you? No, not at all. Okay, a sovereign and a citizen can't be the same in the same sentence because one sovereign is independent and 
separate from the rest of the state and citizen is the property or chattel of the state of course i understand that the the two terms seeming are seemingly uh, oxymoronic however the problem that you're having here is that the the term sovereign citizen was not invented by anybody else except for the original uh self-proclaimed individuals who said that they were sovereign citizens um i don't and it, but I, I understand that that's not something that you would you personally label yourself as i understand that the term sovereign citizen is tended to can be you, a can you general say the label word that, I, that, that i label myself as is, is what is citizenship is it a privilege or is it something that's just given to you or well citizenship is, citizen? is a citizenship is a right It's a birthright. For who? For who? For the people yeah. that are born here? Correct. And the people who natu uh, naturalize uh, uh, from immigrants. Okay. So that would be the 14th Amendment citizen, correct? Uh, of course. Okay. All right. Yeah. So where, where, does, where does this 14th Amendment citizen become the uh, sovereign citizen part? I, I'm, I'm missing that. No, okay. you, you you misunderstand. Um, the term sovereign citizen again is a label uh, given to people who uh, adhere to pseudo legal arguments in court, asserting that they do not have to abide by the local, state, or federal laws that the rest of the citizenry are required to abide by. You mean like you mean like the the police and the in the courts and everybody else that. Uh, get to defy the laws that have absolute immunity from prosecution or um, anything of, of the sort for their criminal conduct or their wrongdoing? No, no, no. Is I'm that not who you're talking about? Nope, not at all. I'm referring because, to individuals who a, argue. Is, is that a, not a fact? No. It's not a fact. Are, no. are you sure about that already? Can I, you want me to court? I'm well uh, aware. Of, this, I'm well aware of what quali uh, qualified immunity is. Oh, yeah. And would you care to explain this to your people? Qualified immunity is where what? the police are uh, or judges Just are able to police or judges. I, I you know, let me continue. Let me answer your question where police judges or prosecutors are immune from civil suit when it comes to um, actions that are done in the course of their official duties. Uh, that's the very general um, um, explanation of what uh, qualified immunity is. Okay, so if 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 a judge behaves, or if a judge misbehaves, or if a prosecutor oversteps their judicial authority and acts with a conflict of interest with the judge, point of order doesn't follow the rules of proceedings and or accepts donations from the prosecutor's office for their re-election campaigns, for their re-election campaigns, the judges, and they don't disclose that conflict of interest. And nobody questions it, but that one person that comes through and questions that donation or that point of order that has been stepped out of bounds who is to say that this judge isn't qualified from being removed and somebody else placed in charge who gives the judge the authority to decide his own jurisdiction if a judge can is in, unable to decide their own jurisdiction how is a question of jurisdiction going to be heard in the first place well, by the demur, it must be dismissed. So basically, when you submit a challenge to jurisdiction and you believe that the judge that you're submitting this demur to does not have jurisdiction, the judge automatically has to rule in your favor because they can't assess whether well, or not I, they have jurisdiction? I don't know about uh, your state's law, but I know... The, Cal the California Civil Code of Procedure. Okay. I know that that implies 
within the procedure that if there is a established fact that controverts is the word in this book that controverts the word of the judge or the proceedings to the fact then it must be removed or the judge must grant leave okay to that proceeding you're not you're not you're not listening to what i'm saying you're making a challenge correct you're making a challenge to, no to, i'm not uh, making a challenge are you the, are the, the, you're I'm, making a dur- I'm, not or, the one I'm sorry making a challenge i'm you're the making one that's a, brought to the court you're the one that's making the demure right of of a cha- of a, a jurisdictional issue correct no i'm sent no that's not no the, the, i'm simply the, the, asking why, a question i'm the, simply you asking? asking a question about the proof of claim that the prosecutor is bringing before the judge and does the judge really have the right to grant that jurisdiction to that prosecutor no, being you, the fact but, that there might be certain conflicts of interest but you're that are but hold on. taking place you're talking about two different things you're talking about one a conflict no, of interest that, you're talking about jurisdiction and you're talking about conflict of interest those are two different issues are they not they're two separate subjects they're two different subjects but they okay, can both so, fall in line in the same in 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 the same reason for the demur. Can they not? They can they can be raised in a single motion, correct? Right. So you and can raise a motion is brought. You can you can raise an issue of a conflict of interest, and you could also raise an, a jurisdictional issue. Well, why does the judge, whenever he is acting in his judiciary capacity and that judiciary presentation is challenged he acts like it doesn't matter the simple rule or the simple regulation that's supposed to be followed according to the civil code of procedure well why problem, don't they follow it well here's the thing when you're making you're what? raising these two issues you're raising those two issues the first person that's going to make a determination on those two issues is going to be that very judge himself and if the judge rules in a in, rules in a case that, that that you disagree with you have the right of appeal you can re- appeal the judge's decision which includes the judge's well, determination of whether or not, not that's not up until con- conviction and this is we're talking about way before conviction even takes place already we're talking right now as you, you like to make fun of me I about do. my uh, recent appearance in uh, in in the city of Inglewood, uh, hey, guess what? That charge dismissed. That charge okay. got thrown smooth the fuck out. Guess what? Guess what? Motion granted it, Artie. Oh, what motion? Guess granted what motion? Oh uh, yeah. Proof proof of claim. Oh, proof of claim, really? According, proof proof of claim according to California Civil Code Procedure thirteen hundred, oh, section yeah? subparagraph D. Oh yeah. Permanent S T. That's what Permanent got the dismissed. That's what got it dismissed. Permanent that's, SG. That's what the, the dismissal order says. Well, they didn't give me a dismissal order. They didn't give me any kind of order. They just dismissed the case. Oh, based so based on the so claims they, that I presented. Oh, the, but you're saying wait, they don't say that it was based on your claim, but you say they it is based on the claim. Order. They didn't give me no kind of order. They read my they read my shit. They gave me a lot of shit. They gave me, man, they gave me a lot of shit, Artie. So, so you're they assuming, a, you're assuming that the dismissal was due to the paperwork that you fitted, that you submitted. Well, there was no judge that represented me. There was no lawyer that represented me in the case. The I'm not, lawyer, I never, but, I never said that there was a lawyer that was representing you. Right. I'm right. all I'm simply asking is whether or not the dismissal was due to the paperwork that you submitted. The, the, it was based on the, on the paperwork that I submitted, yes. And where, what is the evidence of that? The evidence is you can find it on the court document. You can you can type it in yourself. You have access to that that stuff. You know my name. You can look. So it what up. you're so what you're saying is is that you submitted paperwork, and a then at a later date they dismissed after, after your citation. After I filed citation. a federal lawsuit on the judge. So you're doing a, a post hoc ergo propter hoc. Uh, in other words, you submitted something, no, and then they no, dismissed I, it. I made a claim. I made a claim based on point of order. Okay, so so you are not. What you tell? Why don't you? Why don't you explain to your people what a point of order means, Artie? 
I'm a point of order is something that has nothing to do with a what what, what were you originally charged with? Let me ask you what that is, first. What is a point of order, Artie? Can I ask you what you were charged? Were you was this a criminal or civil a civil action? Uh, uh, a criminal misdemeanor, uh, uh, administrative citation. Okay, it's administrative citation. So in other words, spectator, so you provided spectator. So you well, did read. The, why don't you why don't you read the law? Why don't you read the law that I was arrested for, Artie? It, you it, never you can you, simply you, look you, it up. It's Inglewood you haven't even Municipal told me yet. Code. Okay, it's Inglewood. It's Inglewood Municipal Code. Okay, three dash one five five a. Englewood Municipal Code three dash one five five eight. That's what I was arrested for. Three dash one five five eight. Three dash one five five eight. Yes, sir. Spectator. Oh. So you're a spectator. So, uh, and you were cited for this. You were given a citation. I was arrested for this. Oh, you get it. Arrested. I was okay. taken to jail, and my property was converted to public interest from my private possession. So And so then you went to you didn't go to court, you just simply submitted this paperwork? No, I did go to court. I, I went all the way up to pretrial discovery. Pretrial discovery. Okay, I'm not seeing anything about three you said three dash one five five eight, correct? Yeah, yeah. The way that the way that Inglewood has it uh, wrote up, uh, Miss Inglewood Municipal Code is really hard to find, but they have it like <laughs> they have it chalked up, man. Um, even the I citation that the office... I have the I have the code right here. Um, general regulations, parking regulations, Inglewood Municipal Code, vehicles and traffic, chapter three. Okay, so three dash one five five eight. Three dash one five five. A, A one five five A or one five five eight. I say one five five A. There's one. There's one five five four and one five five uh uh one five four and then there's one five five, but they both say pretty much the same thing. Ah, no. Hang on. ah. Want prohibition of spectators at illegal motor vehicle speak. <laughs> okay, so you're you were at a uh a street racing uh event and no, you were no, I was I was recording the event. I heard the call come over the radio, the scanner, and being my particular interest in the city of Inglewood and their drug dealing conspiracies, uh, I've been monitoring the city of Inglewood for quite some time. And I am a journalist. Uh, it's so on my arrest paper. Section three I'm a dash one. What does it say? Five anybody five within any, anyone within five hundred feet, Artie? Any individual anyone was within, any individual uh, three dash one five five a any individual who is knowingly present as a spectator either on a public street or highway or on private property open to the general public without the consent of the owner operator agent thereof at an Ill Ill illegal motor vehicle speed contest or exhibition of speed is guilty of a misdemeanor no offer or presumption of innocence there is anybody that's present already anybody that's absolutely present any individual who is knowingly present as a spectator yes but that's an knowingly accusation present. But it, it, it is. But what if what if so what if what if I just saw what if somebody just so happened to be sitting at the bus bench already and all these street racers came and they clogged the intersection. Okay. And the bus can't get to the person that needs to get picked up by the bus. So they just so happen to be within twenty five feet of the intersection. And law enforcement just so happens to see you sitting there in the middle of this so called event and well, they decide to target you, and you well, was doing. You're not even a part of it. You're just merely present. And it, well, and it hold says, on a second. Not saying that without regard to how that person arrived. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, Ricky. Three dash one five six says is the next part of the code. It says relevant circumstances to prove a violation. I was decided for that. I was. But but that's but this is pertinent to the issue, correct? Relevant circumstances to prove a violation of section three dash one five five. 
includes the time of day, the nature and description of the scene, the number of people of the scene, the location of the individual charged in relation to any individual group present at the scene, the number and description of motor vehicles at the scene, the individual charge drove or was transported at, to the scene, the individual charges previously participated in an illegal motor vehicle speed contest or exhibition of speed, the individual charges previously aided and abetted in, in an illegal motor vehicle speed contest or exhibition of speed, the individual charge has previously attended an illegal motor vehicle speed contest or expedition of speed, or How the am individual. How I supposed to know anybody's speed? How am I supposed to know anybody's speed, Artie? All how, I'm how can I know anybody's speed? All I'm providing. How can I know which vehicle on the roadway is Ricky, illegal? Ricky, I'm providing you with the you circumstances. Don't need to provide me. I know what it says. I thought I know you said what you it were. Says. You don't know. You just told me that you were charged with it. You said one was five six. Was... You were charged with no, three dash one five 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 a. Right, but one five, five. but three dash one five six isn't a charge. Okay, it, but I don't know why you're. I don't know why you're why you're why you're going after me about this because three dash one five six isn't a charge. I'm, I'm not at all. I'm three not, dash I'm one not five six you. is not a charge. It's simply describing the circumstances or the totality of what okay. may cause an officer I, to cite you for a three dash one five five violation, but you don't want to listen right. to that. No, you, I'm I've, giving I've you. It. I read it over and over. I, I've read it many times. You thought 3 156 was an extra charge, but it obviously is not. No, I never got cited for 156, man. I got charged for 155 you, and not having a headlight. But on you're my saying you read it. Nighttime. But you're I, saying you read it all. Artie, obviously, I, I have read it. Uh, Artie, I have, I have <laughs> over 60 pages, about 14 different types of motions that I've filed in my own defense. And I'm sure uh, you have. Guess what? Pretty, uh, you know what? I'm sure with you all know the, what, uh, with all the respect, motion is right. With all due respect, Ricky, yeah. the number of motions that you filed is not uh, consequent. It doesn't matter. They don't. They don't matter. Somebody You're has right. to read those fucking motions. Absolutely. You're right. It. It. it the Somebody number of motions you filed motions, right? does not. The number of motions you filed have nothing to do with whether or not they're meritorious. Right. Right. But. Also, the circumstances of the fact, the totalitary of the issue is I wasn't there as a spectator. It's well known by them, my name, my YouTube channel. But see, you should think what, I am what, a journalist what, by their own words. I, 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 well, you're right, Ricky. You're absolutely right. You are a journalist with big fucking air quotes. I get that. Uh, but the officers may not know that. I mean, uh, with all due respect. Well, they know, it, how do they not know that? They know me by name, Artie. They well, know they me do. by first and last name, Artie. How can they okay. not know that? And well, they how, know you how by... can they not know that? Especially you... after I rat out, especially after I rat out Johnny Baca. Who? To the FBI. And two weeks later, FBI shows up after they already arrested Baca, goes straight over to the Inglewood Police Department and confiscates all of their computers, and their laptops, Who? all that shit, their cell phones, and they had to issue a reimbursement of inf uh, of uh, 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 emergency order of uh, supply or whatever Mayor Butts did over there, and they had to replace all that equipment already because somebody called and ratted them out. I don't. Okay, uh, Ricky, you're gonna have to give me. You gave me a name, and you're now saying that the. That you ratted out or uh, submitted a tip to the FBI, Artie, who then yeah, in turn, we, 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 you know, who then in turn the rated. It, it, you're right. You, so you're right. It has nothing to do with anything. Correct. You're absolutely citizen. right. It, 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 sovereign citizen does not pertain to the topic when it comes to me. So absolutely... I can and remember how you told me, Artie, I would not get my passport. Remember how you said that, Artie? Remember how you swore up and down on my live stream, Artie, that I wouldn't get my passport? Yep. That if I owe child support and all that other shit, and if I well, had I a felony and everything else, you well, said I didn't say anything you. about that. I didn't say anything oh, about yeah, oh, about uh, about uh, a passport I or child support. I you, say you said that. No, I what I said was you whether said or not I you get it, Artie. You I said that you I wouldn't, wouldn't get, get it. Artie. I said that you wouldn't get it on the issue that you were going to turn yourself into a a uh, American national. <laughs> I got it under the grounds of American National, Artie. You got your passport. I got it under the grounds. So now you're yes, a sir, citizen of American Samoa. I am not a Samoan. It's anybody that is born, all the United States Americans 
All United States citizens are United States nationals, but not all nationals are citizens. No more than all fishermen are captains. No, uh, I'm sorry that that's not how that works. <laughs> how how did, how else did it work, Artie? It obviously worked for me if I got the passport, if I got the if I got the documents that you told me that I wouldn't get, Artie. Well, look, uh, Ricky, I'm going to to offer you that if you try and pull this and try to leave the country. Uh, I, using your passport. I need, what do I need to leave the country for? Because you, that's that. They can't revoke my passport. Well, that's they what I'm saying. Even, they, that'll be the actual <laughs> applicable use of your passport, and to see if you actually can well, well, leave actually, the country I, as I'm a pretty, so-called American national. Because of, according I, to the I'm law, to as go. it's written, according to the law as it's written, only American Samoans are what is American non-citizens, what, what is, non-citizen what is that? nationals. What, no, that's not what it says in eight. And 8 U.S.C. 1401 section, uh, subset, uh, no, it does say that. INA 8, uh, 1101. Yes, the Immigration and Nationality Act. Yes. Immigration and Nationality Act. Correct. 1101, 21B. Uh Uh-huh. And see, where where did you get uh, the sovereign citizen from? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm basically just quoting straight out of the, their federal law book. Because the idea of becoming a uh, non-citizen, but a, an American national, is straight out of a uh, soft-sit playbook by, uh, what's her face, Judge uh, Wright? Wrights. Anna Von Wright. It there you go. To, well, it, is, it has nothing to do with that because it's quoted in the American Immigration and Nationality Act. Yes, so because that's that's in direct reference. That's in direct reference to American Samoa, because they are non-U.S. <laughs> citizens, it, 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 but they are American nationals. American Samoa. It's anybody. It that is. is born. No, it's not. It absolutely is. No, it's not, Artie. All right. Well, if if you say so, Artie, I, I mean, you're the one with the law degree. You're, you're right. The one that spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah, don't and remind me. I go file. I go file a federal claim, right, Artie? Uh huh. And I cl- I file my claim under, um, under the diversity of citizenship, and it doesn't get denied under the diversity of citizenship. Matter of fact, they gladly accept it, Artie. So therefore, there must be some kind of established diversity. Wait, they they uh, wait. Who who accepted your federal suit? The federal clerk of the court. You know they they accept everything that they receive, right? That doesn't mean well, that no, they're they accepting don't. your jurisdiction. No, they don't. No, they, they don't. Di- you they have can to dismiss fill, it. You have to fill out that cover sheet properly, Artie. Uh huh. If you don't fill out that cover sheet, Artie, properly. Well, can I then... get? Well, hey, here here's the thing, Ricky. It, you said you filed the federal suit, correct? Then that means that I can easily look up your case, your docket, you your can. pacer. You can. You can. You can. Yeah. I have a pacer account too, Artie. All right. You can. So and it, and it got dismissed. And and it got oh. dismissed because the judges have immunity. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Shocked that your case got and, dismissed. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I kind of knew it. I kind of knew it was going to happen. Then why I knew bother? It was happen. I, well, it wasn't. It wasn't why bother. It's why. What can I learn from it, Artie? It's what can I learn from it? It's what can I accomplish? <laughs> it's what can I take in from the information and the response that the judge is going to send me back. And all these yellow envelopes, Artie. Uh huh. And all the and all these federal envelopes, Artie. I get I get all these federal envelopes from the federal court from the federal court. Yeah. All these federal documents, Artie. Well, why why would they even? You know, I I got so far, so close. And. Well, if you I got mean, the wait, did you get dismissed before before even having the hearing? Well, yes, because they, they said okay, I that's what I thought. Play, stay, they, I failed, I failed to state a claim which relief could be granted. Oh yeah, the, they I told B six to you, right? No, that's that's yes, pretty good. Yeah, they easy. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and now that I understand that, I took that information, and then I attached that information to my motions that uh-huh. I filed in my pretrial discovery, in my defense. What in and, your that, the original camp. that helped me out. So you see what I you you see how I learned that, Artie? You see how uh-huh. I took in that information that they gave me and Did I you? applicated it to what was important. And Did you actually my, learn from and, this? I don't know if you did. 
Oh, boy, I, I learned enough to know that pitch is spread emotion. And I learned enough that a lot of other stuff that makes a claim under Section 1300 of the California Civil Code of Procedure, permanent S cheat, the public benefit being returned and not claimed. Yeah, not I'm going to say that the, the California Civil Code serious. is not going to be a, applicable to your uh, administrative well, I, I uh, case. I live in the state of California. Uh, I, I, I dropped the federal suit, okay? I'm not going to play the federal we, ball. Well, you didn't. You didn't I'm just going to take it to the state court. Hey, Ricky, you didn't drop the federal suit. They dismissed it under 12 pieces. They dismissed it, okay? You're right. You're right. They dismissed it. Now, <laughs> I took the information that I learned, and I applied it to the state's case. Uh -huh. Now I know just go play at the state state level until the state gives me absolute dismissal and I need a federal appeal. Now uh, I can bring gotcha. So so now you learn that you got to exhaust your remedies oh, first at the state admit level. Now you're going to that I learned. Now, now you're going to admit that I learned. Yeah, but you, you're, you're actually not learning. Something. You're not really learning much. Um, yeah, but if you I... don't want to tell. You don't want your people to know that I'm learning, and you don't want people to take in this information. No, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll gladly tell. I'll gladly ignorance. tell my audience. I'll gladly tell the audience, guys. What Ricky what? tried to do is that he tried to file a civil well, suit. Did. I didn't do. I didn't try. I did. What I Ricky? Did. Tr no, he tried to file a civil suit in federal court. While his state court was still I, I going, try. I did. While was while his state court was still pending, they dismissed it outright, and now and he's that's saying the young, that that's the, that's what's that called the youngest doctrine? Is that is yes. that called the youngest Rooker. doctrine? Rooker is that, uh, is Rooker, that not called the youngest yes, doctrine? It, yes, is younger. Uh, yes. See, so so you look, Artie. So don't say that I didn't learn anything, Artie. You no, don't you, know what. No, I you took didn't. In. You didn't learn enough. That's my point. You didn't learn that this is funny. a this is that this is a fool's errand. No, I, I learned. I actually I learned it. I I learned it uh, proof of claim because I've registered it my claim on the county court of registers. Um, according to the California Civil Code of Procedures requirement, revoking the fiduciary's position of trust. Uh, that party. does nothing. Revoking a fiduciary's. Trust is does nothing. Uh, what do you mean? Artie is recorded. A judge is not a fiduciary to you in your he's, he's acting. He's or acting with the privilege. No, he's not. On the behalf of the attorney general. Is he not? No, no, that's not a thing. No. Is he not? Is he is he not putting the money in the, in that court into the state court's trust fund? No. Is it not going to the comp controller's office for the state of California? No, whatever on, Artie, answer, can, whatever uh, whatever fines they get goes to the general uh, general fund of California. I don't know exactly <laughs> where they get it, but okay. But that so does, I, I'm telling that, you, according I, to the California Civil Code of Procedure, okay, I'm going to tell you right in, now, in this book, Ricky, Ricky, doing that, whatever fine, whatever your fine does not create a fiduciary relationship between you and the judge. Oh, it, it's no, the judge is not. It's not he. He is not the fiduciary relationship. He is acting on the behalf with the authority granted, vested to him. He is behaving in that manner. No. He is not the fiduciary. The judge is what not. What is the fiduciary, Artie? There is no what fiduciary. Is fiduciary? What is it? There is no fiduciary here. Oh, oh, oh are you sure, Artie? Are, are you yes. really sure? Yes. Uh, people, why don't you? Artie's telling you there's no such thing as a fiduciary. Look I never said that. F I D That's not... U C A R Y. Guys, I didn't say that, but he's going to go ahead. I didn't say there was no such thing as a fiduciary. Okay, you're saying the judge is not acting in his position as a fiduciary? No, I'm. that's exactly what I'm saying. He's not acting in any so, fiduciary maybe, capacity. Maybe. Of... If, maybe... Maybe I, I interpreted that from somewhere in this book right either, here. Either you got it out See, of, I'm, either I'm you not, misinterpreted I'm not, I'm not going by New Jersey laws already. Either you misinterpreted from the laws. Easy you misinterpreted the California Civil Code or you're pulling it out of your ass. No, I, I don't I don't think so, but I don't uh I know I have it screenshotted on my phone, but I think I know exactly where it's at. 
So forty eight ten fifteen four four thirty. Now bear in mind. Here the it is only right time. Here. <laughs> Go ahead, Artie. Okay. Go ahead. What? What? Uh, you, you said the only time? Go ahead and say it. No, you was uh, you didn't complete your sentence, Artie. The only time I can fathom where a judge might have any sort of capacity in that sense is in probate court. When they're dealing Probably. with uh, um, executors, no. When when somebody <laughs> passes away and they're dealing with an estate. Oh, what about the separate legal person that was terminated already? What separate legal person are you talking about? Their corporate fiction. What? 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 My corporate fiction. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, it's this is this beautiful man. I I I. I I don't mind it. I don't hate you, Artie. I thought I, I thought I, don't, you, I thought you already I, had the pay. What, I, I are, are you gonna Are you gonna well, correct you know, me or you know, not? Correct no, me. I, I I am. I am. I just. I'm just. Just lost here, man. Um, uh, action that is uh, or a proceeding. This is California Civil Code of Procedures three zero four zero three point zero seven zero a. Okay, and then it proceeds. All right. So, um, I think it concludes that. Uh, four ten. Yeah, uh, four oh five. Okay, four oh five point fifty. At any time after give a me, notice of penalty. Give me, hold on. Give Give me one second so okay. I can look it up for myself so we can read it together. Hold on a second. All right. Uh, you said the right. California Civil California Civil Code, correct? Civil California Civil Code of Procedure CCP. Mm. Four oh five point fifty. 405.50. Let me see here. Yeah, I have rule three. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, let's see here. Rule four. Where's four? Three. Rule seven. We ahead is here. Rule four. Wait, can you give me the rule again? The the exact rule here. Four oh five point fifty, California Civil Code of Procedure, Article four. Withdraw. Four, four five point five oh. Four zero five point five zero. Four zero five Article point four. five zero. Yes. It's only one paragraph. All right, I'm I'm at I'm I'm looking at a different one. Hold on. Uh, let me go. Let me just California Civil Code four zero five point five zero. Notice governs a notice of a release of a list pendants in California. Uh, pendency, yeah. The fuck it's does that have to, to do be with filed on the it's it's file it's required to be filed on the county registry. Four zero five point five zero at any time after notice of pendency of an action has been recorded pursuant to this title of the top of the law, the notice may be withdrawn by recording in the office of the recorder in which notice of pendency was recorded or notice of withdrawal executed by the party who recorded the notice of pendency. Of action or by the party successor in interest, the notice of withdrawal shall be acknowledged. Ding 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 ding. You got it, Artie. <laughs> okay, where? What? <laughs> what? I don't. I. Don't. <laughs> I, I'm only I'm I'm a mere lawyer, so you're gonna have to explain to me how this in in any you're way a lawyer, cr Artie. creates you're a fiduciary a interest I, I'm, I'm not, by the not judge. Attorney. I'm sorry, you're not a lawyer. You're not a lawyer. You're an attorney. I'm 
Yes. It, it, the, explain explain to your people what, what you just read. Please explain to everybody what you just interpreted. Please. So the way I interpret this is that when somebody files a list pendants or records a list pendants, they... What is that? The, what is that? Please explain uh, explain that. that, that a list uh, pendants. Word solid, that, that word in the solid. A list pendants is when somebody uh, files at a recorder's office that the a, pro a piece of property is being is a subject of a litigation. Mm -hmm. And you record it at a and county what would be property. Um, a house. What about your rights? No. What about your rights? Because your rights are inside that house, aren't they? No. How are they not? How are a your rights not inside that house? Do you not have the so-called Fourth Amendment right to be free of unreasonable searches and seizures, but up on probable cause? Oh, my fucking God. No warrant shall issue? So a piece of property and pendency related to real rights. Come on, Artie. A Liz pendants has to do with real property. It has nothing to do with right. your rights. How, well, how it says real property. Explain real property. A house with a tree attached to the land. Are you not attached to the land, Artie? Can you get off of the land? Can you fly around in the air? Can you just get off of the land whenever you want? If your enclave is your house or your real property, is your rights not included? No. Inside of that real property? It has nothing to do so with the list pendants. No. <laughs> Jesus, H. you're Christ. right, Artie. List penance is absolutely pri uh, is 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 real property. Real property, according to the legal definition, means anything that's attached. Real estate, land. Yes, yes, land. And and are you not attached to the land? No. How are you not attached to the land? Do you not walk on it? I can literally walk you, off it. How? Where? How, where are you gonna? I can uh, go to my off the land. I can go to I can literally move my physical body off my land and go to a goddamn Dollar General. It's not your land. It's federal territory. You don't own it's, it. You pay taxes on it. You don't owe shit. I have you a have title a to it, bitch. You no, you don't have a title. You have a certificate of the title. You don't oh have the God. title. You have a certificate of the title, Artie. See. <laughs> This this one right here, this this one right here already explains <laughs> federal code, the highways, uh -huh. and it explains that the whole fucking land of the United States is federal jurisdiction. No shit, Sherlock. Okay, so your house is on federal jurisdiction, is it not? You don't own it, Artie. You pay taxes on it, don't you? You not pay taxes on that shit. The fact that I pay taxes does not mean that I have ownership of it. You don't I can, own it. That, I can sell it. It means you don't own it because if you own something, you don't have to pay for it again and again and again. You buy it one time. Oh, okay. So that you, you have buy a, it with? you have a different definition of ownership that is separate from uh, the layman's definition of ownership. Correct. Okay, gotcha. Well, I'm not a reasonable person, Artie, by the legal definition. Well, I mean, I think we uh, kind of already understood that. I'm, I'm not a reasonable person because a reasonable person is someone that makes decisions in their communities. I'm not a reasonable person. I don't make, I have nothing to do with the decision making process in the community. Clearly. So, I, I mean, I, I understand your point. I thought the same thing too, Artie. I was stuck on that category, not understanding. So I took the time out, Artie, to get a bunch of lawyer stuff, man. I, I, I really invested in a, a bunch of, you know, stuff to better educate myself and right. understanding your legal terminologies. I mean, obviously, it, well, I think it's pretty blatantly uh, clear that we have a fundamental I, um, grammar disagreement on the nature of the law and how we understand the law. I, um, I believe that the law applies to me in every single bit, Artie. I'm not a sovereign citizen. Yeah, except but the when rules, it does. But, but rules, regulations, and policies that overstep the fundamental principles of uh, enjoyment to my pursuit of happiness, 
and the interruption that are But see, that's what the paramount. problem is. But Ricky, that's the problem yeah. here. You're, you are deciding yourself uh, whether or not a certain law infringes upon that fundamental um, happiness. It, but, if, if we're, if, but if we are all people independent and free and have, by nature it says, by nature, California Constitution says by nature, free by nature, does nature, do not, does nature not imply natural? But you're ignoring the rest of the Does California nature, law. Well, I'm quoting this, the California. Nature, no, you're right. Nature, in, nature invokes natural. Okay, so then okay. what's. The, but then the California the, Constitution, Article 1, Section 1 says all people by nature are free. Okay. So if all people by nature are free, there is no rule that can be attached outside of natural. So application then, so then what's the point of a legislature a legislature to create revenue for the state so they're they're pointless they're appointed by the governor the lieutenant governor of the state who is lieutenant which is a military title so the so the voters have no say in who uh what encompasses the uh legislature the the voters absolutely have no say in the in the appointment of legislatures. So the legislatures aren't even the, the legislatures aren't even voted on. They're appointed by the governor. No, they're not in the state of California. They're not. They're appointed by the lieutenant governor. Fascinating. Um, so that that's uh, actually uh, a a very odd thing because I my understanding of the U.S. Constitution is that all states are required to have a Republican form of government, but you're saying California doesn't. That all members well, of the legisl all members of the California legislature are decided upon by the governor. The legislatures are appointed by the lieutenant governor in the state of California. The state of California is considered a free state. It was invaded by the Union in 1846, conquered and taken place in 1850. That's when California became a republic. Republic well, of well, look it up. And, well, and, and our actual constitution is still well, standing, which is California, jo California joined the Union after the Mexican American War. A after we were, after California was invaded by the Union states and they surrendered their land and their yeah. banks to the Union, then they joined the, uh, then they joined the Union, which is what the states of the Union. Uh, California became where, where a state. Can we yes. Find that? Article Article Four or Ar Article Four Section Two. Of Somewhere what? Somewhere in there. Enters into a statehood. Uh, of the Calif uh, the the Constitution, the Article uh, the Article Four Section Two, where there's like there's only like two places in the whole Constitution that they mention states of the Union. Okay. It's like they they try to they they try to scrub that word out. Uh, you know, and, and I, you know, I, I learned already that I don't even use the Constitution for a defense because the Constitution is foreign to me. It's not applied to me. The Constitution is nothing but Wait, a contract so that is granted by the government that government so you don't have promises rights. not to violate these rights. Well, so you don't I have, have rights. natural rights. I, I have natural Natu human rights. Natural, natural human rights. How, who, who defines what those natural human rights are? There's, you know what? It's funny because the law beats around that. The, the somehow the United States has found some kind of way to. So you can't, um, so you can't uh, define them. Circumvent, circumvent the implementation of true these, common law. Are these natural rights what you make of them? Are they 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 based upon your own personal no, the, opinion? No, the natural rights are, are are you're born with them. You're born with these rights because then you what were born are they? on the land. Like, then what are they? You're, you're born with the rights. You're what are they? What, light, are, on the what are these rights? What are they? Property. Your rights okay. to your property. Okay. Uh, what what property? Tangible property, real property, any property? There, you know, that at the moment, unless you claim it, it you have no rights or you have no property. You're, you're considered a juridical individual. A juridical individual does not have the capability or the capacity to be able to possess property or rights. But But you still haven't even defined to me what what these property rights are well the, the the property you don't have any you if you're a citizen 
You absolutely have no property. Okay, I, okay, Ricky, property Ricky, 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 you're telling me what people don't have. I'm asking you, you as somebody, I, Ricky, I'm asking you as somebody who says that you have natural rights. I'm asking you, what are those natural rights? And one of them, you said it was property. You haven't really elaborated every, to me every, what, every, what every, that entails. Everything. Okay, I'll, I'll, elaborate, I'll elaborate real easy. In the Ninth Amendment, the Ninth Amendment, it says why, no why rights. Are you, why are you are citing the Ricky, you just no said right. the constitution. I'm just going to answer Ricky! your question. I was just going to use your constitution but, in the Ninth but, Amendment. But Ricky, you just cited the constitution. I thought you said the constitution was irrelevant. I just said I'm going to use. It is irrelevant. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll rephrase that. I'll redact that for your satisfaction, Artie. I'll redact that. Hey, cheers, Artie. I'm having a great discussion with you, Artie. I know. Cheers, I'm, man. I'm, I'm trying, man. Salud. Um, well, Artie, I'm... What rights do you have in natural rights? Well, you have all the rights that they tell you that you already have in the Constitution. But the Constitution just identifies those rights for the people that are not aware of their natural rights. So once you understand those natural rights and how they are actually applied, and then you understand the the position of citizenship that is applied to you at birth, that it's a privilege. Citizenship can be revoked, can it not? Citizenship is for residents. No, your 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 citizenship, your citizenship cannot citizenship, be. Your citizenship as a, is a fundamental right, even if you got it na uh, if, through naturalization. What if, if you don't want it? They applied it to you. You don't need citizenship if you it's, was born here. Well, that's because it's birthright. Because if you're not a citizen, then you have less rights. Yeah, then you have rights. That, then you're actually you have more rights. You know why, Artie? I I I have a I had a former felony, Artie. I went I went to prison when I was 14, Artie. I got out when I was 21 and a half, Artie. I got out in 2003. I haven't been back since. Okay, so therefore, I just here recently went down to the state of California and filled out the ATF Brady firearm application. Okay. Show my passport. Show my passport ID card. Guess what happened, Artie? I before that, I I couldn't fill out that form and get approved, Artie. But guess what? I got approved. I got approved, and that sales took place, Artie. So how is it that I don't have any fucking rights, and the citizen that wants to go apply for that firearm? that it's never been to prison and he gets to be able to get denied I, but somehow i didn't so let me let me see if i What's asked up with so that, Artie? let me see if i got this straight um you hmm. just said that you were able to purchase a firearm as a felon nope i'm not a felon anymore that person separate legal entity has been squashed washed away so just i mean just to prove it, Artie, I mean, if you go back and look at the Colorado arrest, when they took my fingerprints more than 15 times, how come the how, how come they never got an answer back on my fingerprint, Artie? And, and why, Artie, to this day, when I go and look up that Colorado arrest, it's yeah, not present on their book. I will man. say uh, that I, I agree with the folks in the chat that if you were you were sent to prison um, at 14 for a felony, um, it's likely that they was expunged when you were when you uh, reached the age of majority. Age of majority? You don't become an age of majority <laughs> until you make that claim, Artie. It's it's it, automatic. You don't though. Reach the, well, yes, there's two different kinds of ages of majority. Is there not, Artie? Uh, well, there's the can, age of majority, I, I mean, I'm, and I'm there's the sure age of consent. The, uh, the calif uh, and the. <laughs> Federal Code of Civil Regulations, uh, Civil Code of Regulations, whatever they call it. I found person in there. I found in Title 26, person 7343. I found person okay. in 267711. Uh, so, I so, found person in uh, Title 4, was it? Yeah, Title, so Rick, title 5. Rick, Ricky, can you, can we, we we're, we're, as you mentioned before, we already gotten a little bit um, behind track, right? Uh, because we were talking about natural rights, correct? And you meant, and yeah. I, again, you, and I, but the thing is, I already, I think I'm, uh, I, I haven't mentioned it already. The Fifth Amendment 
says that you have a uh, that under the Constitution you have a right to life, uh, liberty, and property without due pro- uh, uh, you 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 have without a right due to not process? not to be deprived of life, uh, liberty, or property without due process of law. Correct. So property right. rights what is, is pro- there. What is due process. Due process is, meaning due process. Due process meaning that you have the ability to have notice, um, a hearing, and all of the procedural matters that come with being able to challenge and defend any any uh excuse me to defend any challenge against those rights. The due process, the conduct of legal proceedings according to established rules and principles for the protection and enforcement of private rights, including concepts of fundamental fairness and basic rights of procedures. Due process. Mm -hmm. So Uh, uh, with all due respect, Ricky, that looks like one of my cheat sheets when I was a 1L. (laughs) You know what? So that's why I bought this, Artie, (laughs) so that I can understand these terminologies that when when they try to apply those terminologies <laughs> you fully understand that word salad that you like to make fun of you know because that word salad is the same vocabulary that you use that word salad is 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 that very same legal definition already don't beat around the bush about factual information okay so fundamental so what, rights are applied so- so can I and can natural I, rights are applied? So can I ask all you the same sense is that the federal it, that, that the Constitution can make claim because you don't need the the Constitution doesn't give me my rights. Okay, my okay, Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. On that note, what are what is another natural right besides property? The right to be left alone. Okay, so who? What does that right entail? Uh, like, how do you define right. that in? In normal everyday interaction, what does that mean precisely? The right, the right, the right to be left alone means you get to you get to accept the contract or not the contract. You get to okay. pick the contract and not to associate or to disassociate with the contract. Okay. So disassociate right or associate. Alone. Right to be left alone. Um, so does to, that mean that you not to associate? So that means that you don't have to associate with. For example, a uh, local municipality, correct? If the local municipality uh, oversteps the the fundamental concepts of uh, independent liberty, not freedom, because well, what I does recognize that, the difference but again, between but again, what is that, between freedom what is that, and liberty. But the, what does that mean, Ricky? You're 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 giving it, it, me liberty, you're giving me liberty, broad liberty. terms. Liberty liberty can mean a whole fucking lot of things, right? And so can freedom. So can you're freedom. right. Exactly. So what does that mean when a municipality oversteps and and violates that liberty? What does that mean? Who determines whether or not an action done by a municipality violates or or infringes upon that liberty? Well, it depends on where you take that claim. Who makes that decision? It depends on where you make where you take the claim. But see, that's that's and what that the claim co- that goes to my fundamental point, Ricky, is that who defines whether or not that liberty, what aka what is the liberty and what is an abridgment of that liberty, and whether or not the action is an abridgment you, of that liberty. Okay, I'll, I'll make it simple. Um, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll try to do my best. Action of that liberty is any person knowingly present in a public place that they have a right to be, to be targeted because the idea of the officer's reasonable discretion is you're somehow a part of an event that you have nothing to do with. You know nobody. You are not doing donuts. You're not racing anyone. You're just merely reporting the story from the local scenes okay. of what is factually taking place. Okay. And then they decide to grab you up for exercising your journalistic duties. So Okay. So okay, perfect. All right, perfect. There is an accusation being made by this officer that's saying that you are committing a certain action, right? That is uh, uh, that is going against 
whatever uh, social norms that was uh, passed by ordinance of this municipality. You say that this, uh, that by virtue of them citing you for this, is an abridgment of your liberty because you yes, because say that you were. It's, it's a administrative. But you say citation, that you weren't doing. And you weren't no doing body. X, Y, and Z. And there was no, there was no basis for this action. Absolutely not. Now, absolutely now, not. No, 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 no. Where's no, the victim? Uh, I'm not. Where's I'm not. Hey, hold on, hold on, Ricky. Where's hold the victim? On, Ricky. The hold the charge. Hold on, Ricky. Now we have two differing, uh, uh, a claim or statements by the parties here by going. That's going on here. Cop you mean, is saying you mean X. Hearsay? The cop is saying the cop is claiming one thing. You are claiming the other. How are we to rectify these two opposing narratives in your system? The only way to do so, man, is you, you got to make that claim. If you don't make the claim, then, you know, then you won't know. You got to make the claim. You got to assert the claim. You got to write it. You got to put it down on paper. You got to record it. So you got to the recording. You got to state it correctly. So did the officer write up a citation and hand it to you? No, he took me to jail. So he took you to jail. Did he write up a report and send it over to the court? He wrote a ticket for... Oh, so it's a ticket. So then uh, he did write down a claim that he's making against you. Yeah, a charge, right? A charge. Okay, so he did write a, a charge... That's saying that on this date, Ricky did X, Y, and Z in violation of ABC. And then oh, he yeah, handed he you a copy did. of that. No, he didn't hand me a copy of it. They gave it to me after I was released. Oh, okay. But they, get, they gave you, uh, they handed a copy of it to you after you were released. So they did. Uh, when I was put released the, the next day. So they put things on paper and handed it to you, correct? Uh, yeah, that's called libel. <laughs> well, no, the, well, no. The, the officer makes, is making an accusation, is he not? Uh, yeah, he's making a false accusation. Right, said, but you. He also cited me, Artie. He also cited me for not having a front headlight in the hours of darkness, and that California vehicle code requires any bicycle rider who is riding a bicycle in the hours of darkness have uh, a light attached either to them or to the bicycle. Okay. I had. A camera in my hand like uh i had matter of fact i had this rig in my hand mm -hmm. and uh so let me get it out of here i got a little bitty house man so i like to hoard my stuff but see this see this rig right here uh -huh. my camera was right here my phone was right here and i had a flashlight that is mounted that was uh zip tied right here and he wrote, he even wrote me for not having a flashlight in the darkness and the hours of darkness. So the fact that I had a flashlight in my possession, does that contradict the officer's truthfulness? That's he, entirely he wrote possible, me up but I'm, I'm not I'm not talking uh, come about on, Artie. I, come, uh, hey, Ricky, Artie I'm not talking there. It's a Ricky, fact. It's a fact Ricky, it's recorded. Ricky, if you okay, I'll take a look at it later, but I'm only going by what you originally were saying that you no, were you're arguing only going against. by what Mitchell Crooks told you. That's all. Who? You're going by by the ev you're going by the edited information that was provided to you by Mitchell Crooks. Ricky, I know nothing or, about or this current comment. situation. Ricky, I know <laughs> Ricky, I literally know nothing about this okay. current situation. Right, everything right, that I've been right, getting I'll, I'll give you the I'll every you the everything that I've been that. getting okay. has been coming from you about this entire endeavor. Okay. All right, cool. Cool. Well, I'm I'm just saying, Artie. You know, like this guy's been—he's been hacking me for five years, man. He's been he, and and he recently, you know, he he accomplished a lot. He got my channel shut down. He got my he he you know, um, it, he's really he's attached bots and shit, man. It, it, it's cool. I'm I'm not even. Uh, look, it's it's minor. I I can you know, uh. It's minor uh, setback, Artie. Rick, Ricky, all I'm saying is I I'm aware of who you're referring to. I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pretend that I don't know who you're talking about. Okay. But what I'm that's saying fair. is that's fair. Thank you. 
But what I'm saying is I literally know nothing about this current circumstance about you getting cited okay. about about the street race. I know nothing beyond oh, okay. what you just right, told right. me. Okay. Well, I mean, if you want to know, Artie, you know, uh, I was listening to the radio scanner and uh, I heard a call come over the radio. I waited about 30 minutes and there was repeated calls that came over to dispatch um, from this scanner. I have two different scanners. Artie. I have this scanner. Remember how I was mm -hmm. like, dude said I was homeless and I couldn't afford, you know, um, a, a, a room. So I was hijacking um I was hijacking shit, the Wi Fi right. no, or whatever. No, so I, I, here's my like, other I, scanner. Right. Here's my other scanner. So, so I heard the uh, code come over the radio. I waited about 30 minutes. And then I heard repeated calls come over the radio from people who were stuck in the traffic of this street takeover, like these innocent people that had nothing to do with it. And they were repeatedly calling Inglewood, like, hey, uh, we're stuck here. These guys, they won't let us move. Um, you know, and, and Ingle was like, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll be there. We'll be there. And Inglewood PD isn't very far from the location of this incident. And it could have took them less than six and a half minutes to get to that location, but it took them 47 minutes to arrive okay. because they had to allow the event to build. So I waited until I heard the sirens Well, zebra heard the sirens. So he's like, Hey, there comes the sirens right now. So we decided to go ahead and roll out and we were still ahead of Inglewood police department. We were way ahead of them. And then when we arrived at uh, the, the location of the, of the intersection, all these people just started scattering, just running all opposite direction, which sounds about and right. Cars if were the just cops... stuck. And then, and then, and I'm going, but I'm going there. I'm not running away. I'm going, okay. there. I'm not running away. I'm going there. So obviously I don't have anything to do with this. Okay. So I ride by these Inglewood cops when they told me to get out of the street because California vehicle code says that bicycle riders have to ride their bicycle in the streets. Okay. So they told me to get out of the street. I got out of the street, but in the process of getting out of the street, I said, fuck you drug dealers. They jumped out and attacked me and arrested me. Took me to jail for spectating. Okay. I mean, that's, that's, that's the story already. I went to court. You heard the court proceedings. You commented on it. That shit got dismissed. I have the dismissal proceedings too. Um, you know, I don't give a shit about the court rules because they want to sell me that very same transcript from the court from a third party. When you absolutely have the right to access that transcript. So I, I actually don't fairness? I don't know what the rules are in California when it comes to transcripts. I can only tell you about New Jersey. Right. And there's I can't tell you anything about New Jersey law, but I can tell you about California procedure. OK, so I can't comment on Nevada's procedure. I can't comment on Wyoming's procedure. I can't comment on New York or anybody else's procedure. I can only state California's procedure because that's the procedure I understand. And that's the procedure rules and regulations that I, you know, currently have. Okay. And I, I just want to make a better understanding. I'm not, I'm not trying to say that I'm sovereign and, and, and sovereign citizen because Washington DC is a sovereign state. It's a sovereign territory. It's well, not, DC, it's not well, a part of the. DC, DC is a territory, but it's not a state. Correct. It's not a state. It's a, so it's not a sovereign territory. But it, well, DC has some level of sovereignty, but ultimately Congress is in control some of level. the DC area. It, no, 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 you're right. It, it's it's extreme, it's extremely, it's extremely. A uh, DC is extremely limited in what they can do in governing their own affairs because ultimately Congress has control of the DC area. Yes. Right, and Congress is elected as United States what representatives? Yes, representatives and, and the fact from that all people the, voted for them. From the several states and whatever yeah. regardless regardless of the outcome of the vote they participated in the vote so therefore they have no claim about the outcome of the vote wait what if people voted right and they participated in the vote right regardless of the party that they voted for okay being the party that won right regardless they have no room to complain about the outcome of the vote because they participated in that vote. 
Wow. It's like you fell down, Artie, and I seen you fell down, so I stuck my hand out there for you to take my hand to help you up. And when I tried to help you up, you pulled me down too. I can't complain about you pulling me down because I extended my hand to you. And oh, the result well, of the consequences. Well, okay. Uh, well, you taking my hand, you pulled me down too, so I can't complain about that. Okay, so one one thing I have to oh, I want to want to make sure we we're we're on on the same page here. If if you elect not to participate in the vote, you are still going to face the consequences of the results. Well, it depends if you remove your if you remove your vote by you know technicalities by recording by uh, making certain statements on the record. Then, if anybody were to use your name in a, a voting election and you were to find out about it, do you not have recourse or claim to them using your well, name somebody, in a well, vote that you never cast it? Well, if somebody voted in your stead and you didn't make a, a make a vote, then of, so, of course you have a claim against that. But what I'm saying is, if you decide not to make any vote whatsoever, you decide on election day that you don't want to participate. You're still going to uh, uh, be subject well, to whatever United consequences national, are. You're not, but as a United States national, you don't have the you don't have the privilege to participate in the vote. Very true. Uh, you, because non uh, because uh, non citizens do not have the right to vote. Non citizen, non resident, no citizen. I seen that written on you know right, I but even on your I got that. No but, even, no but even but even but even non citizen immigrants are still subject to whatever laws that are passed because, by because the, the, because that's a different type of that's a different type of citizen that's a different type of individual. An immigrant that, is not a citizen by definition. Uh, immigrant, uh, yes, they are because they become naturalized and become a citizen, right? Not if a Do they lawful, not? a lawful permanent resident is not a citizen, right? They're absolutely right about that, but they they have a green card. A green card does not confer citizenship. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying, Artie. I, you just said lawful permanent Everybody, resident does not convey citizenship, right? So, to be a lawful permanent resident, you must have a green card. Right, but that doesn't make you a citizen <laughs> <laughs> unless you get naturalized. If you get naturalized, then you become, then you a, become US a citizen. citizen. Yeah. Okay. So, if 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 you are not if if you return if, because people don't understand, citizen is the public benefit. Acceptance of the public benefit is the acceptance of the cheat. Identified in California Civil Code of Procedures thirteen uh, uh subsection thirteen hundred. So. The acceptance of public benefit in your citizenship, Artie, is public benefit. You are a public individual. You are absolutely present as public, public property. That's why the government has control choice. over you. Uh, no, you know, but, it, but you don't. But you, the thing is, you don't understand. If you could be a tourist, a foreigner tourist coming to the United States. Just and be here for a couple you months. and if you violate the law of the state of New York, for example, you'd be subject to that law. It's not a, be, Artie, even if you're not a citizen. Artie. Let's make sure I don't get my address. So I don't really care, but because the doc. I, well, I don't. Added. I don't want to. I don't want to dox look, you look, or anything. Look, look, so make look, sure look, you, you this, cover this that. A, this 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 I I, I am. I'm this. Don't worry. I'm not even uh, complaining about you, Artie. I know who the responsible party is. All right. See. See what this is, right? See, see where this is from. Okay. Uh, yeah, for I seven nine seven C notice of action. Right. Okay. Okay. Now, look right here. If we make sure we get this in there, we get that in there. Okay. Let's see if we. Uh. Okay. Look at that. Your form is being returned to you for the following reasons. Right, right. That's right. 
following reason. Okay. I'll get it on the screen for you. Let's see. All right. I, I... For following reasons. <laughs> okay. I, I see what you're trying to convey. I'm not trying to convey. It says it. It's just saying that you're you filed you submitted a wrong incorrect form. And, but what does it also say, Artie? Regardless of incorrect form. Regardless of it being an incorrect form. You're not a lawful permanent resident. Not you're not a lawful permanent resident. Uh, you're not a lawful permanent resident. And it's been terminated. Yeah, it's but we send it. But if you were never a lawful permanent resident in the first what place, then it? if you were a law, if it? you were never an LPR in the first place, when when you fill out the application for something, it asks you for anything. It'll ask you for your lawful permanent residence. When you go to the Department of Motor Vehicles, it asks you for your lawful permanent residence. Mm -hmm. It asks you to establish three forms of residency, residency in the state of okay. California. It has to be a bill with the same address, it has to be your birth certificate, and some other bill. It has to be two bills, a water bill, a phone bill, and your birth certificate or your social security okay. card also. Then you can get your ID or your driver's license. If you don't have a bill related to your residence already, you can't get a driver's license in the state mm -hmm. of California. Okay. So therefore you have to have some kind of residency, resident, resident, right? Okay. Don't act like you're bored and you're sleeping, man. Cause you know, because, then well, the I guess this is, conversation is over because- yeah, Because you, that, you, were, you were never a lawful permanent resident in the first place because you're you? a US citizen. No, I'm, <laughs> it no, no, all, I'm not, I, know, I, you, I was never, I've never been an LPR because I was born in the United States. They still apply LPR to you, Artie. No, they don't. When oh, you feel like okay. when when, you, when, right. you, when the, the Ricky, Ricky, I love you, man. But eleven form, the DS eleven form. Ricky, it's ten o'clock. DS eleven form for your passport. Okay, go ahead. It asks you yep. for your lawful permanent residence. See, you can't debate me, Artie. That's why I renewed. I renewed my passport this past month, and I never had to right. make any and claim about my LPR. And your DS eleven, and your DS eleven. <laughs> It, it, it says that on the other side of your form, Marty. It says that on the other side of your form. It says uh -huh. LPR. Your lawful. Please write down your lawful permanent residence and ask you for that. Everybody fills out their lawful permanent know, residence choice. when you go. But that doesn't mean a, it, it you you to ask you to fill out your. It ask you to fill out your address. It does not mean the same thing choice. as your status as an LPR, especially if you're already a U.S. citizen. Okay, all right, all, all right, right. But, but but dude, it's ten, dude, Ricky, it's ten o'clock. My wings are getting, I've already gotten nice. cold by now. I I'm hungry, nice. but I gotta, but I I gotta stop you, this. We've been talking nice. for about two thank, hours thank, now, man. Thank, thank, thank you for having me on, Artie. I, oh, I I appreciate it. And all these people want to call me stupid. You know, it's fine, Artie. You can call me stupid. Call me all these names you want, man. I remember how hostile I was last time. I saw. I do remember I saw that. How hostile. And, and 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 you know I I try to I try to take in from that, and you, you see the difference in my attitude this time, Artie. Well, so I mean, I'm on I, your show. I'm here in your presence, but you know, honestly, well, I, Artie, I man, will I will grant you that you are far less hostile than you were the last time we had a, had a one to one. I will I will well, I will admit. That. Hopefully, you can just uh, accept the fact that stop stop judging people for having uh, ideas of you know their own freedom, and you know. Uh, it's just because someone else has, shares uh, opposition of ideas from you doesn't make them any less brighter or any less smarter than you are or anybody else that's watching. All right. So I wish you well, Artie. Have a good night, man. And uh, you too, man. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah. <sighs> All right, I'm done. That took it out of me. Um, I uh, I will apologize to my audience, and I need to apologize to myself. Um, 
by getting some food because I'm hungry. Um, I need some food after this. Um, but um, thank you very much, guys, uh, for for sticking around, all 300 of you. Um, hit that like button, um, subscribe, um, and and I'll and I'll see you next time. I I I need food. I'm hungry. Um, but uh, that was uh, that was an event. All right. <laughs>